everybody, this is Kat. And uh, today I am going to test out these 15 fabric markers by Ori Mark. Non-toxic, bright colors, permanent, odorless. Use iron to make our artwork permanent. I've never used these before. I have no idea how they work. And then I also am going to test this out, which is Tea Juice Fabric Art Marker in Black. I have never used fabric markers before. I have no idea what, what they're like. I have a couple of pieces of really beautiful fabric that I'm working on a project now with that I want to add some, some uh, design elements to. So I'm going to test these out. And these are t-shirt material with heat and bond applied to the back that I also want to use on that same project. So I'm going to test these out and see how they work. And if I like the results, then I'm going to add them to my, my art jacket that I'm currently working on, which you'll be able to see on this channel as well. Okay, these have never been used. I have no idea how to use them. And let's just give it a try. They're, ooh, they're a wider tip. I like that. I was kind of afraid they were going to be a really narrow tip. Okay, let's try it first on just this regular fabric here. And I'm just making random little design marks just to see how it works. Just to see uh, how it makes marks on the on the fabric. Let's try a dark blue one here. Now I am doing this wrong because the instructions say to put it on a, a piece of paper or a cardboard or something behind it that will protect the other fabric beneath it. So if you have a t-shirt, you want to make sure that you have something between the top layer and the bottom layer of the t-shirt so it doesn't soak through. But because this is a, just a test on a piece of paper or a piece of fabric, I didn't do that. This one isn't coming out very well. I wonder the uh, the black one came out much better. This one feels a little bit dried out, actually. Yikes. Huh. I'm not happy with that one. They said there were some metallic markers in here as well. Let's try a purple one. These all kind of feel like they're dried out. I wonder if that's how they're supposed to feel or if I'm using them wrong. Anybody got any comments? Anybody know how to use these? Feel free to let me know in the uh, in the comments section. I'm not <laughs> I'm not squealing with joy about these yet. Oh, this one is working really nice. I like this one. Oh, yeah. Those other ones are dried out. Look at how nice that's coming on. Bummer. Well, I guess that's why they were on sale, huh? That's a fluorescent one. Like I've said in previous videos, I have no idea what I'm doing, but I'm doing it anyway. This is a metallic marker. And that went on fairly nicely. Let's see how the silver marker looks.
I don't know that any of them are super metallic. Okay. And I'm going to get rid of this since these already have a backing on them. They won't bleed through. What I really want to know is how this black is going to perform on something like this. Because what I want to do... Oh, that's going on nice. What I want to do is I want to do this exact same thing to a much larger heart on an art project. I am liking that. That's looking really nice. It went on smooth. It's not bleeding into the fabric. Let me see. I don't know if you can see that very well. Is that focusing on it? And I'm liking the way that that looks. Yeah, so that will work. I wish that there were white. I know that uh, I probably have to actually buy a paint if I want white. Let me just see how the yellow does. I'm assuming that these are mainly translucent. Yep, these are translucent. And they're not actually going to show through a print. They're just going to kind of bleed into it and let the print show through underneath. So for other projects in the future, I'm, I'm going to have to test out actual fabric paints because I really want to do some painting on some of my art jackets. Let me keep on working here. Let me see what else we can test out here. Let me test out this purple. Okay, I can lay dots down. They're bleeding into it a tiny bit on this fabric, which is a t-shirt fabric. But that looks fine. These could be a lot of fun. I'm liking some of these more than others. And I think the results are probably going to be dependent upon what kind of fabric you're using. Because these are looking like a lot of fun on t-shirts. Look at that. That's a t-shirt fabric. How fun is that? Whereas on this one, it really isn't working. Can you see that? Uh, no, neither can I. Ah, you can see it on the back there. Okay, well, that's my little impromptu test of the Ori Marker Fabrimark Markers. You think they got enough keywords in there for those of you that understand SEO? <laughs> and now, let's give this big boy a try. Ooh, look at that. That looks like a cloth top. Interesting. As opposed to a sponge top. Well, well, well. Let us see what's going to happen here. I'll try it on this darker, or I'll try it on the lighter fabric since it's black. Ooh. Dot City, here I come. If you've never, well, if you've ever seen my artwork, you will know that I love dots. Dots, dots, dots. I love dots, but not just boring dots all by themselves. I love dots that are covering a lot of other prints and lines and textures and colors and so much messy collage fun. Wow, look at that. Now if they only had this in a white. Wow. 
That's a really great example of why you're going to need a protective barrier underneath the cloth when you're using these things. I'm liking this. This is Jacquard Tea Juice Fabric Art Marker in Black. I'm going to go find myself some more of these in different colors. Let me see how they look when you try and make a, a line going down them. Ah, you have to press and hold down and then slowly move it. If you go like this, if you just hold it down lightly, then it does that. I am liking this. There's a lot of different ways that you can create some fun art stuff using this. And of course, it's very messy. But that's part of the fun of being a creative person, being a maker, being an artist. And then the last part of using these fabric markers is that in order to make them permanent, you need to iron them. And that's what we're going to do right now. Got my iron on hot and I'm just putting a protective layer. And the instructions say, I think you're supposed to iron them for a couple of minutes to make them really permanent. Cute little display thing here. Highly permanent on cotton blends and most synthetic fabrics. Synthetic fabrics. Great for decorating t-shirts, sneakers, jeans, all sorts of arts and crafts projects. And then you allow fabrics to dry overnight. Iron on reverse side before laundering. Ah, the iron. What a beautiful invention. Especially after electricity came into existence. Because <laughs> the irons before that, good God. Build up some serious muscles using those irons. Okay, well, I'm liking the way it looks. When I ironed it on, it kind of faded that color a little bit on these smaller markers. But on that big marker, it did not lose its brilliant shade of black here. And then with this, this didn't lose any color at all. These are just as bright. So... I would say these are definitely made specifically for t-shirt fabric, but they will work on other stuff as well. And here's the project that I was testing these for, this jacket here. And I want to put a black line right around here. And it's done. And I'm liking how smooth it is. I'm liking how it's making the heart just separate a little bit more from the background. I did a quick ironing of it and it's good to go. Let me know what you think in the comments. If you have fabric paints that you love, uh, let me know that too. Come back and visit again. I release videos every Wednesday evenings and every Sunday mornings. Have a great week being creative being makers and artists.